In the region of northeast Syria, also known by its Kurdish name Rojava, a democratic self-administration system has been built up since 2012. What is being created in Rojava is a society, a system, based on a grassroots democratic, ecological and women's liberationist paradigm in which all the different ethnic and religious communities can live together on their own terms through autonomy, self-determination and equality. Nowadays, the revolution of Rojava is under big threat. It is not only by war, also other challenges are important. For example, the water. In 2015, Turkey started to use water as a weapon against Rojava. It started to cut the water on the rivers which flow from Turkey to Rojava through the dams it has built in the last decades. The situation became very difficult last year when in October Turkey invaded some areas of Rojava. In the region of Serekanie are a lot of uh, water sources which are used for almost half a million people in the region around Haseke. In the last two months the situation became much more uh, dramatic when the coronavirus came. Water should not be a weapon. Water should be a tool for peace. Now, the people in Rojava need your help. We want to raise a hundred thousand pounds for a vital water infrastructure in northeast Syria. The fund will support women's cooperatives as well as local democratic municipalities in Rojava with projects like repairing infrastructure that has been damaged or destroyed by bombings, digging wells, wells and building water pumps for refugee camps, as well as funding long-term projects like cooperative farm irrigation systems and river cleaning initiatives. You can help support these efforts. Please let other people know about this campaign and donate what you can. Alv Gianne, water is life.